Hey guys, what's up? Mass Blonde here. And today we're playing Man of Medan. And if you'll recall last time, I accidentally got someone dead. Somebody died. It's my fault. But it was, wasn't a really a character that I really cared so much about saving. Like right now, my main guys are Fliss and Brad. If they survive, I'll be happy. They probably won't. <laughs> I mean, I like Alex and... I don't know. I don't care one way or another about Julia. I really don't. She can die. I don't care. I like Alex. I like Fliss. And I like Brad. I really want Brad to make it. He seems like the coolest. Like, he's the guy I would chill out. Chill with the most. I really like Fliss. She seems pretty awesome. Um, Alex seems like a cool guy. But they're probably all going to die. <laughs> if they do, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. There's plenty of videos out there about this game. You can watch the good indie and see what all happens. Um, this is my first time I've not read or watched anything about this. I'm just playing it through completely blind. So, And I'm terrible with quick time events. My brain overthinks it. I want to hit in the wrong keys. It is what it is. They're going to be the death of me and many characters, I'm sure. But bear with me. Hopefully we'll have a fun time. I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, some of the scares are not really there for me. They're not really working for me. They're coming off as kind of lame. But the cinematography is great. I like the characters a lot more than in Until Dawn. Um, and I'm interested to see what happens. Hopefully it won't be anything stupid. Alright, let's jump into it. So apparently we're 75% of the story is done. We're 75% through. I may do a second playthrough of this and see if I change a few things. I don't know. We'll see. This ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. No, it's not really. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, I'm where's Conrad? Has anyone seen him? We got split up. Yeah, he was... I saw him. I, I, Oopsies. I mean, Fliss and I boasted, uh, right? <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up, but he was gone. Gone where? Why? Like, this, He's dead. This just doesn't add up. I feel like you're not telling us everything, Fliss. Look, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I didn't see anything. Is that the truth? Because you better hope it is. Okay, we're going back right now and we're going to find my brother. Julia. He could be dying right now. We He's have dead. to. We will. I killed him. <laughs> Just not yet. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I got to be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just- this can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. See, if Conrad was alive, he'd probably be here. saying, add more to this. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Uh, where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. We would have seen it by now. Where are the crew? What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Uh... This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. Uh... What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? I can't shake the feeling we're in one big floating coffin. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. No, we don't. We haven't. Whatever we do, we, we have don't know to do anything. It now. Time to get off this ship. Y'all didn't say anything interesting. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. 
none of those questions were any, like, I didn't know what to choose because none of them are helpful. Like, none of those choices are helpful at all. They made no sense. Like, we gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. <laughs> That's right, my friend. At least you're in the fresh air. So, they're hinting at some sort of government cover-up, maybe? What is this? Yeah, that's not seaworthy. Great. Could've used these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Yeah, I don't trust anything on this rust bucket. Although, surprisingly, the electricity works. Go figure. I think the generators would be absolute crap by now. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Okay, you do that. What is all this? What am I looking at? Wait, what's that? Hey, a little help over here. Um, you're like the brawny dude. Why don't you be lifting everybody else up? I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. No, you're the brawny dude. You lift the others. <clears throat> I'll pull you up. It really should be the other way, but okay. over here nothing okay let's go is there anything over here no oh don't fall over there holy smokes i thought there was some railing This is... This is where I chased Conrad before. Yeah, he's, he's dead. I'm sorry. It's gonna really suck when Julia finds out, but she can die too, so I don't care. sure you chased Conrad here. up here. I don't remember this place at all. Cool, cool. Let's see, hold on, I gotta check my six nineteen. Oh hey. Premonition time. Oh Okay. That sucks for him, I guess. I really don't care. Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There, there has okay, to wait, be. Let's go this way. There was some over here. Hold on. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. What's down here? Wait, hold on. I'm trying to hit it. See, sometimes it doesn't register when I. Okay, I guess that's not working. Right. Come on. Okay, Julia, don't don't be helping out or anything.
Nobody's doing anything. Help out. Wait, wait, wait. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Weird. Very weird. Yeah, there's something going on here. It's very fishy. Up here, here, here. United States Department of the Navy. Uh, ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Search for commercial recommends. Search called all paper clouds. You have to push. Okay. And that means what all to me? They were blown off course. That doesn't explain any of the other stuff, but okay. Well, well, well. Thanks for keeping the seat warm for me there, comrade. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power, I'll give it a whirl. Okay. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. Our coordinates are... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. Uh, anxious or panic? We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge, and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! I guess that's why you don't panic. Hey! Come here, <laughs> Waste look. time. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. Aww. So what do you think? Uh, if you're sure you're up for it. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Yeah, I don't care if she dies. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia, it's you and I. Hopefully I haven't made a big mistake because I want Brad to live. <laughs> Med. Everything still work? Everyone okay? Uh. 
We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. Oh, good. That'll help. Hey. After you. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Been here before. Wait, wait, can I go in there? It won't let me. Sort of altercation. Leave from duty to display toxication matter, not becoming of a member of the US Army. Private Anderson was engaged with another soldier in a dr drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. They were already on they the were ship. Break. Wow. Damn. He must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. Literally, he just pushed him. Minutes of meeting between Scientist X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CW Old Tom Palmer. I don't know what that means. With Sergeant Peter Woods observing X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for the same thing the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies instigating the chemical and biological agents of warfare. Ha ha! That's what that gas was. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we are unable to... Describe an investigation during to test the effects of human subjects of the module crystal structure hallucinogens, codename Manchurian Gold. Boom! Chemical munitions battle. It was even relatively minor observed to trigger significant hallucinations. Been highly convinced subjects seeing and hearing things so that the danger was manifold and in its instance. Okay, so the entire ship was used. At, everybody on the ship were used as guinea pigs. For this biolog, they dropped this shit down there. This biological chemical that would turn every, that would make everyone hallucinate, and they killed each other. That's what happened. Yeah. And they called it Manchurian Gold because that's just the name of the code. So people think there's gold on the ship, but there is no gold. It is actually just the code name of the mission. So. So. There are no ghosts, and I'm very disappointed. Uh, Monday, Arthur Miller, petty theft, day one, brig, small items, blah, blah, blah. It's trespass, two days. Intoxication, one day. One day for acting appropriate for U.S. Army while on shore leave. Charles Anderson, public intoxication huh. for only ten days. Brig found. Because there was a guy named Joe in sickbay. Public intoxication for only ten days. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately. A scientist... Why is Joe important? Wait, we've heard that name before. I don't remember why though, I've got a headache. Okay, let's keep going. So we figured it out. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. We got a really cool little, I mean the Wendigo was cool in, until dawn. Chemical agents are not cool. Like, you start out thinking, like, the twist was that until dawn you think it's going to be like a serial killer. But it actually wound up being a Wendigo, Wendigo, which was way better. And then, oh, I was thinking that's a ladder. And then in this one you think it's going to be ghosts, but really it's just hallucinogens, hallucinogens from a chemical agent. Which is actually worse. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be... The coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I'm gonna say oh no, God. not at all. Oh my God, I love Brad. Wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Brad is so awesome. I love Brad. Okay, wait, wait. Can I go in here? Okay, it's all over here. Is this some sort of lab? Med bay. Uh. 
holy smokes. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Dying to mild neurosis, not the result of his own misconduct, wasn't cured in the line of duty. Existed prior to, okay, they need to, that's not how you spell duty. No presence to fit for service. Temporary recommendation that he be closely monitored. Experts follows. Today was to know during that visit observed signs of severe distress consistent with evidence of panic I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Peterson see me today. I'm sorry, Patterson see me today as believing as I believed his panic to be occupied by vivid and disturbing memories in the past. He's managed to continue his dues uh, as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims that these symptoms are very unusual for him. Yeah, because he's hallucinating. Is fit and healthy young man with no known medical conditions. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting. It's test for speech. Oh, okay. So, yeah. We got it. We know what happened. Case closed. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Anything going on here? Can't. I don't know why it does this. You can't look at them. You can't pull anything. I don't understand the point. Oh, wait, 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 here's that guy's picture. Wait, wait, he won't, he won't touch it. Touch it! Oh, that sounded wrong. Hmm. Might have been the son of somebody on board. Yeah, we, we know this. We know this. All right, let's go a little bit further here. Oh, I guess, I guess I need to go this way. Wait, I thought we came this way? I guess not. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I get easily turned around. So, yeah. Anything down here? No. What is the point? Oh, here. Why am I going lower? Here, come check this out. Yeah, they're going to find Look, her dead brother. Down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Wait, where'd she get that lamp? Uh, the line was broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Uh, Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. Yeah, let's break some ankles while we're at it. Oh, maybe, you know, that walkway will collapse. You're on a rotting vessel! Oh, God! What's up? That, it, 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 it was... It's just a hallucination. What, what, did you see it? Um, hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so, follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying Manchurian gold, which was actually some kind of dangerous chemical, right? And there's this, like, weird fog everywhere, all over the place. Maybe that's the Manchurian gold. And Look maybe at the it's big brains all up, on like Brad! I mean, I definitely saw some crazy shit that I could have sworn was real, but maybe it wasn't. We know the crew were scared shitless of something. None of it happened. None of it was real. It was just a hallucination. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe yeah, there they was shot a connection. Down. Maybe they made contact. It's a theory, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Oh, whoa! And then engine works. Far down in Netherlands. 1920. Why does it matter? Why does that matter? I don't know. Why does it matter? I don't know. 
Nothing matters. You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. Shoes. You miss shoes. Okay, like what the... Is there anything over here? This kind of looks interesting. Okay, there's a lot of red around here. Okay. Was there something I'm supposed to be seeing over here? Look at how you can walk over here. Like you think there'd be something over here, but there's not. Maybe I would have found a body here if things had been different. There's more of that mist. More of that mist. We're all gonna die. I was gonna go back and look at this, but she's in my way and bitch can die. Wait, wait, wait. Now it's lit up. It wasn't this lit up earlier. Okay. I don't know. I'm wasting time. Let's go. Now, why do we care if the engine's running? I'm I'm so confused. Hey, what's that? Look at this. The rebreather. The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes. Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Uh, let's take it. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. Yeah, definitely take it. I can already picture a million situations where we're going to need that. No. No. Oh my god, no. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, oh my god. He's the reason you got in this mess in the first place, sweetheart. We should, um, we should get away from here. No. Je t'en prie. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. Oh, shit. Écoute. Écoute-moi. No. Fais pas ça. Oh, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. What are you doing, dude? Hey! Hey, 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 hey. We're all gonna die. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. Dude, there's and none of it. You can have it all. Right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? <laughs> oh shit! I hate this so much. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. <laughs> Please tell me you have an escape plan. Oh 
fuck. We can't risk moving. We gotta get the hell, uh, assertive. We can't risk moving yet. Just need to watch and wait for an opening. Ah, uh, shit, not this crap again. you to fuck up like oh my god that's ridiculous shit and now we left the reaver breather fuck all god i mean there's no point in that we've already done that like three times we don't need to do it a, a third time are we safe i'm actually Please bad right now safe. i'm like so pissed yeah totally I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of- Like, I'm so fucking pissed. Stuff. Keep in mind that a lot of these prompts, like, didn't matter in the beginning. Like, there weren't any really bad consequences if you fucked up, but now it's like, it all matters, and let's shove it in your face as much as possible. you are changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. Um. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Please. We've got no problem with you. We just want to get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Wait, what? Ha! Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Uh. Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life! Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you, you telling me what to do? Gun? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Uh... Okay, all, all right, look, I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, I don't know, maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? Uh, no. Sure we all breathe. No, look, we have... <laughs> no, look! We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know. I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. I don't know. You I don't know. I don't fucking time. know. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, God. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? Sure, kill yourself. I don't It's in me, that. isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me! On the inside. Uh... Uh... Just... No, no! I, 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 I can't see it! You're all right, man. There's no mist! Stop! Stop lying! You can all see it in me, can't you? I, I don't fucking know. If you're gonna kill no, yourself, fucking lying. do it. I'm so the sick of the scene. inside! Yeah, shoot that way, waste all your bullets. I don't give a shit. Just point the gun away. Hey man, come on, just put the Okay, good. Problem taken care of. Let's go. Oh, Fuck that guy. Fucking shit. 
fuck? I don't know. I, what do you say to a, like a, a crazy person? Any choice I would have made. I mean, fuck, all you can do is stay calm. Like, jeez. But some of the choices in this game are just ridiculous. I was praising you in the beginning, game. Please do better. Why is her leg all shiny? Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. This again? I hate this feature so fucking much. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll do this three more times. Please, come here! Someone just shoot that guy and get him out of our misery. I saw the, the the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. Oh look, there's a figure over there, but it's not really real, so it doesn't really matter. See when you when you reveal that everything's a hallucination, none of it is scary anymore. This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. This? There's nothing here. Okay. Just making sure, because you've got to get really close to it before it'll... Wait. There he is! Oh, they're going to find the breather, sure. aren't they? A heart attack, like one of the after effects, like that was the. I'm not gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Yeah, please don't try to make that jump. Oh, I'm, I'm still playing you. Where's the rebreather? It should be around here, right? Maybe not. I probably fucked myself out of that. I really like to collect it, but I guess that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, I thought that was a doorway. Where are we? No smoking. Okay. What is with that noise? What is this? 
heck is all this? Stores. What's that mean? Uh... Oh. Now we know what the oh. rats have been eaten. Oh. This is why they're all skeletons. Uh, not that the flesh would have withstood all these Look decades at. at sea. Sometimes you just get lucky. I know, fresh meat, right? Look at how shiny their coats are. Why are you trying to pet one? What are you doing? Why did you do that? What the hell are you doing? Oh, fuck. Damn it! Oh, these stupid wake time events. I hate so much. Yep. What a shock. What a shock. Saw that coming. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> fucking. I, and I hit that fucking button. I fucking hit that button too. Because I was staring right at the button when I hit it. Exist. It's not real. You're going to get someone killed. It's not real. Wait, what? somebody and if I stab I'm not gonna stab myself hey see I told okay. you oh my god oh my god Fliss see the game wanted me to fuck up so bad see because in the beginning it trained you to like oh you gotta punch you gotta Just punch recap it's out of the picture guess it's time for a new plan yeah. That wasn't my fault. I pressed the button. I was staring right at the button when I pressed it. That wasn't my fault. So. This game cheats. I hate to say it, but this game does cheat. Like, I swear to God. This game cheats. So hard. I'm so glad I hesitated on that. That game was trying, this game was trying to fuck me. And he's got to wait for rescue now. All the bad guys are dead, right? The Duke's not going anywhere without a distributor cap. So neither are we. Best I can figure it. We got a couple days, maybe more if we can collect some rainwater. I always kind of knew I would die on a boat, but not this shitty boat. Hey, hey, what is that? I don't think they're gonna hey! see you, but you can try. Got a visual. Several civilians on board. Woo! I'm getting rescued. The target is a converted military cruiser, as described. Jesus, it's just a bunch of kids. And 
we know too much. <laughs> so we're screwed. I guarantee you there was a scenario where you could have used the rebreather. I just don't know what it was. You don't understand, really. I mean, just how crazy it got down there. I mean, just how fucking out of control. He was an asshole. <sighs> was. Connie meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. It's just a big old puppy dog. <laughs> just trying to make everyone laugh. Yeah, I kind of liked Connie. I felt <laughs> bad for him. Oh well. Conrad was running from something. He was really scared, like terrified. I, I, I don't know why. I couldn't see what he was seeing. At. That fucker that took our boat? That there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. I mean, there were things down there that, you know, he shouldn't have been alive, you know? The kind of things that can make you go insane. Connie meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. Okay, I get it. How many times are you gonna hit me in the dog. head with this game? I killed Just trying Conrad. Trying to make everyone laugh. Jesus, this game really <laughs> likes to like rub your face in it, doesn't it? Well, fuck you. Your twist sucked. <laughs> and he fell. Or he, or he jumped. I don't know why, but I, th I think he was running away from me. Manchurian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. Oh my god, game. I get it. Jesus. Ah. Golly. That's it? Oh. Well, hey, is what's his face gonna show up? Oh, there he is. Hi. Are you gonna, like, beat me over the head with the fact that Conrad's dead? That's it. Game over. You're done. Yep. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. I think I did pretty good. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Wait a second. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. I know, right? And the distributor cap? Boom. But it didn't really matter. Unfortunate. It didn't really fucking matter. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in yeah, a panic, to choose your own made at the heart instead of the head or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there sure are repercussions. Them really did. There are always repercussions. So I guess Fliss is in debt because her boat doesn't have the distrib distributor cap. So she's out of business, I guess. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope. Maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. But like, maybe the government like tries to hush up the scandal that would come from the fact that uh, Won't you spare me over they know. To oh, 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 no, we're not doing that. We're not doing any copyrighted music. Sorry, the song probably sucks anyway. So let's recap. Um. What are my thoughts on this game? Well, art style, cinematic direction was really good. Story started out really good. I really liked the characters, even Conrad, who was annoying 
who annoyed me at first. I kind of grew to like him. He didn't make it, but if I had to kill off a character, it would be him or Julia, so I wasn't too... Probably would have rather have him than Julia, to be honest. Um, I feel bad because Fliss is without a boat now and she's in debt. And it could negatively impact her career. Um, but most of the characters I liked lived. I liked Fliss a lot. I liked Alex. I liked Brad. They all lived. They're awesome. Um, I feel that the ending, not the worst twist that ever happened, but it was very disappointing. Very disappointing. It kind of reminds me, um, well, there was some movie I saw a while ago. Oh, what was it? Was it The Turning? Where you think it's going to be supernatural and it's really just all her going nuts. It was not very well done. It was great up until that point and I actually got a little angry. I'm a little bit angry with the twist in this. Whereas with Until Dawn, I hated the characters. The setting was alright. They kept trying to like misdirect you and say there was like what's his face was a serial killer. But I never really bought that. Um, you wound up having a really cool twist about there being a Wendigo, even though it didn't really look like a Wendigo, but it had some really, really tense moments, some good scares. Um, so, you know, other than the fact the characters all sucked and they could have all died and I would have been 100% okay with that, the, um, the twist was nice, whereas in this I didn't like the twist. But, and some of the stuff... Like, if it's all in their head, why is Fliss imagining, like, pagan hooded figures? And it wasn't like it really went anywhere. It was only, like, one time. You saw, like, a small 10 second. I mean, where did she pull that out of? It had to come from her subconscious, but it just, like, seemingly came out of nowhere. Same thing with the pinup girl. Um, and I kind of figured out pretty early that they were, they were all hallucinating. So... The script for this was not very good. Um, the acting was pretty decent. It started out kind of iffy at first, but it got better. Um, everything looks gorgeous. So, I mean, I don't know. If I had to rate this game, I would have rated it until dawn a B-. minus. I would rate this a B. Uh, gameplay is excellent. Except for the fact that this game cheats. I'm sorry it cheats. I hit. I know I hit that last button. I, I saw me hit that button. And it acted like I didn't. So this game cheats. Um, it's a little bit unfair. Um, I know games are supposed to be challenging. But I think it was a bit, a, a, a bit unfair. Um, but I mean. I had fun. I had fun. I enjoyed it. So... I may replay this just to see if I can do a little bit differently. I don't know. But I've got a lot of games uh, left to play. I've got like Those Who Remain. I'd like to play that. That's gotten some mixed reviews, but I don't really care about reviews. Um, it looks interesting, so I'll, I'll probably play that. I, I downloaded some more indie games, um, especially from some of our favorites like uh, Scythe Development. So... I'll be playing them soon. Um, I've got a video for Reveal the Deep that I need to finish editing and I can upload it. I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did. Um, if you're interested to see how to get the best possible ending, I know I know there's somebody's got to have done a walkthrough on this. So I'll be looking for that. Um, but yeah, lots more indie horror to come. I hope y'all had a great time. Hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. Whatever. I don't have a Patreon, so don't worry about... I'm not going to beg you for money or any of that stuff. Um, but if you want to leave me a lovely comment, hey, I'm, I'm always digging that. But I'll see you guys for more horror fun in the very near future.